Good morning everyone. Today we will complete Unit 5 Regulation and Cross Drainage Works Water Logging and Land Reclamation. Water logging. A land is said to be waterlogged, as you can see in this picture, when the soil pores within the crop root zone get saturated and remains in this stage for a major period during the crop season. The groundwater level represents the level of free water surface within the ground and can be seen as a water surface in wells, rivers, ponds, etc. The water logging makes the soil alkaline in character and the fertility of the land is totally destroyed and the yield of the crop is reduced. The causes of water logging over irrigation. In inundation irrigation, there is no controlling of water supply, so it may cause over irrigation. The excess water percolates and remains stored within the root zone of the crops. Seepage from the canals. In unlined canal system, the water percolates through the bank of the canal and gets collected in the low-lying areas along the course of the canal, and thus the water table gets raised. Inadequate surface draining. When there is heavy rainfall and if there is no provision for surface drainage, then the water gets collected and submerges a vast area. Obstruction in natural water course. If the bridges or culverts are constructed across with the opening with insufficient discharges capacity, then the upstream area gets flooded and this causes water logging. Obstruction in subsoil drainage. If some impermeable strata exist at a lower depth below the ground surface, then the movement of the subsoil gets obstructed and this causes water logging. Nature of soil. The soil having low permeability like black cotton soil does not allow the water to percolate through it. So in case of over irrigation or flood, the water retains in this type of land and causes water logging. Incorrect method of cultivation. If the agricultural land is not leveled properly and if there is no arrangement of surplus water to flow out, then it creates pools of stagnant water leading to water logging. Seepage from reservoir. If the reservoir basin consists of permeable zones, cracks and fissures, which were not detected during the construction of dam, then this may cause seepage of water. Poor irrigation management. If the main canal is kept open for a long time unnecessarily without computing the total water requirement of crops, then this leads to irrigation which shall result in water logging. Excessive rainfall. If the rainfall is excessive and the water gets no time to get drained off completely, then a pool of stagnant water is formed which might lead to water logging. Topography of the land. If the agricultural land is flat, that is with no slope, and if it, if it consists of depressions or undulations, then this leads to water logging. Occasional flood. If an area gets affected by flood every year and if there is no proper drainage system, then the water table gets affected and this causes water logging. The effects of water logging, salination of soil. Due to water logging, the dissolved salts like sodium carbonate, sodium chloride, and sodium sulfate comes to the surface of the soil. When the water evaporates from the surface, the salts are deposited there. This process is known as salinization of soil. Lack of aeration. The, the crops require some nutrients for their growth, which are supplied by some bacteria or microorganisms by breaking the complex nitrogenous compound into simple compounds, which are consumed by the plants for their growth. But the bacteria require oxygen for their life and activity. Fall of soil temperature. Due to water logging, the soil temperature is lowered. At low temperature of the soil, the activity of the bacteria becomes very slow and consequently, the plants do not get the required amount of food in time. Growth of weeds and aquatic plants. Due to water logging, the agricultural land is converted to marshy lands and then the weeds and aquatic plants grow in plenty. 
These plants consume the soil foods in advance and thus the crops are destroyed. Diseases of crops due to low temperature and poor aeration, the crops get some diseases which may destroy the crops or reduce their yield. Difficulty in cultivation in waterlogged area, it is very difficult to carry out the operation of cultivation such as styling, plowing, etc. Restriction of root growth. When the water table rises near the root zone, the soil gets saturated. The growth of the roots is conformed to the top layer of the soil only. Measures of water logging. Prevention of percolation from canals. The irrigation canals could be lined with impervious lining to prevent the percolation of water through the bed and banks of the canals. Thus, the water logging may be prevented. Prevention of percolation from the reservoirs. During the construction of dams, the geological survey should be conducted on the reservoir basin to detect the zone of permeable formations through which water may percolate. Control of intensity of irrigation. This may cause water logging, so it should be controlled in a planned way so that there is no possibility of water logging in a particular area. Economical use of water. If water is used economically, then it may control water logging and the yield of the crop may be high. Therefore, special training must be given to the cultivators to realize the benefits of economical use of water. The measures of water logging, fixing of crop pattern, soil survey should be conducted to fix the crop pattern. The crops having high rate of evapotranspiration should be recommended for the area susceptible to water logging. Providing drainage system, suitable drainage system should be provided in the low lying area so that the rainwater does not stand for long days. Improvement of natural drainage. Sometimes the natural drainage may be completely silted up or obstructed by weeds, aquatic plants, etc. The affected section of the drainage should be improved by excavating and clearing the obstruction. Pumping of groundwater. A number of open well or tube wells are constructed in the waterlogged area and the groundwater is pumped up until it goes down to a safe level. The lifted ground may be utilized for irrigation or may be discharged to the river or any other water course. Construction of sump well. Sump well may be constructed within the waterlogged area and they help to collect the surface water. The water from the sump well may be pumped to the irrigable lands or may be discharged to any river. Land reclamation. Land reclamation is the process of making a land culturable after it gets converted to uncultivable area due to the bad effect of water logging. The following are the general methods of land reclamation. Surface drainage. Proper surface drainage system should be provided to agricultural land so that the water does not accumulate for a long time. The surface drains also help in draining the saline water. Subsurface drainage. The subsurface drainage system on the agricultural land should also be provided for draining the excess water from the root zone. It also helps in draining of saline water. Waterlogged areas can be reclaimed by following certain techniques. Proper drainage system. Farmers should have adequate surface drainage facilities to remove excess water from their fields. The surface runoff and subboil drainage of water should not be so slow. Using tube wells. A tube well is an ideal device to lower the level of water in waterlogged areas. Tube wells have the capability to draw out of the earth large quantities of water continuously. Lining of canals. In order to minimize water logging, concrete lining of canals and other water channels should be done. It will be helpful not only in controlling water logging, but also in saving useful irrigation water. Water management. Farmers should be educated about water management. Use of excessive irrigation water for cultivation of certain crops should be avoided. Tolerant crops. Crops like rice, oats, etc. should be preferred in waterlogged areas because rice requires more, more moisture for its growth. Tolerant trees. Trees like eucalyptus, willows, etc. should be planted in waterlogged areas because of its high moisture requirement. That was all for today. Thank you.